Insulin treatment is a standard of care for patients with diabetes. However, insulin has its drawbacks in that it's costly, it's burdensome to patients to self-administer, it can lead to severe hypoglycemia requiring hospitalization. With the time, this disease keeps progressing. They are going to need more and more insulin every year in order to maintain their glucose control. There is a large number of patients, more than 20, 30 percent of them, that despite of they have used, and they're using many drugs, and they use now insulin, they cannot even achieve a good glucose control. So their disease keeps progressing because they are not well controlled too. All of the therapies that we have today are focused on trying to control the symptoms of the disease, which is high blood sugar rather than the disease itself. Our current paradigm of care allows for the ongoing progressive nature of type 2 diabetes to worsen the underlying condition. We think it's better to try to make the body metabolically healthier so that the pancreas can control blood sugar on its own. Any novel techniques that can be developed to offset the requirement for insulin will really improve quality of life and disease outcomes for these patients. I've spent about two decades studying the effects of metabolic surgery in patients with type 2 diabetes. Following patients for almost 15 years after metabolic surgery, we're seeing that uh, some patients have remission of the disease for up to five to seven years. However, bariatric surgery is limited in its use currently because of the significant risk as well as cost. This is where I think endoscopic procedures such as duodenal ablation fits in. What we know is that when patients keep eating high fat and high sugar, hyperfunction of the duodenum is signaling downstream to cause all these metabolic changes. When the duodenum is excluded from this, we know that all these benefits appear and all these complications from metabolic disease reverse. The duodenum is the first site of nutrient contact and a critical control organ that begins the cascade of metabolic disturbance within the body. We've been focused on developing technologies that will allow us to control the critical metabolic control organs in a manner that can reverse the disease or change the trajectory of metabolic dysfunction rather than try to manage the downstream symptoms of the disease. The DMR procedure is a uh, endoscopic hydroablation procedure that is performed in a little under an hour. What we're doing is taking dysfunctional enterocytes that maybe have reset the thermostat of some of the uh, compounds and hormones that can be used for satiety and then having another clone of normal enterocytes repopulate that segment of the duodenum. It is a single outpatient procedure. It's performed endoscopically within one visit. We're going to be putting together endocrinologists, talking to hepatologists, talking to endoscopists. So there will be a multidisciplinary approach on how to manage the patient. We've tested in clinical trials and nearly 300 patients across the globe so far. We really are looking forward to the prospective multi-center sham controlled trial to confirm these results. It is going to be conducted in around 35 uh, sites between US sites and European sites. 300 patients are going to be randomized and the primary objective is going to be the percentage of patients who achieve a good glucose control without the use of insulin. What is unique about the Revita T2DI trial is that we believe it is the first trial that is going to test the ability of a procedural therapy to reduce or eliminate the need for insulin in patients with advanced type 2 diabetes. I hope that this procedure will fill the gap between metabolic medicine and metabolic surgery. It may result in insulin independence for patients uh, who are requiring insulin. We're taking an endoscopic application to treat something that endoscopists rarely if ever have the opportunity to help. Taking care of these patients is something that I am very much looking forward to. Patients and society deserve 
an option for better metabolic health to reverse disease as opposed to simply managing them.